they bleed all over the place, you can't layer them at all, and f because of that, I really enjoy them. They just kind of, kind of like, blah, all over the page. Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. You are watching thrivingminimalist.com. Welcome to the channel. We are talking about minimalism on this channel. We're also talking about abundance and how to create your epic life, your unique and epic life in the best and fullest way that you can. For me, that means traveling with some art supplies. I don't travel with very much. I have a pretty small backpack, but in that backpack are like really crucial and important things to me. So if you're an artist and this interests you, or you're just interested in what I'm carrying around, or you're interested in minimalist packing, that is awesome. Whatever has excited you to click on this video. Today, I'm just gonna show you what's inside of my very small artist bag, why I have the art supplies that I do, and talk a little bit about the artwork that I produce and why it's really important to me in my life. So first of all, this is a very small packing cube made by Eagle Creek. I've talked about these packing cubes before. You can buy them in a set. So you pop this guy open, and what I've got in here to start is this really small uh, thing that I use for separating my watercolors. When I use watercolor, I've got a big crappy brush. I've got two containers of really crappy, inexpensive watercolor. This is stuff you can get for like a dollar. I love using really inexpensive, crappy watercolors. It's super fun. They bleed all over the place. You can't layer them at all. And f because of that, I really enjoy them. They just kind of, kind of like blah all over the page, and I really dig that. Uh, in this, in this brush kit, this came with three brushes that were maybe three dollars or something. Um, it's a higher quality bristle than what they call chip brushes. Chip brushes they use to do chip swatches. Those are kind of testers if you're going to paint your wall and you want to test down some paints, you'd buy these really cheapo brushes and you'd paint a small square on your wall and then you'd toss the brush. Well, these are a step up from that. You can reuse these. It's a finer quality brush, but you can, I think, pick these up from Home Depot or Lowe's or any kind of hardware store that you might find. They're also absolutely in a craft store. So cheapo brushes there, I really dig. I've got just a couple of Rogue, uh, high quality microfiber pens. This is the third of that brush set. Okay, and then these are a couple high quality watercolor paint brushes. This one I think was between, I think it was around $15 just for this one brush, and this one was probably around 10. And I, I will say that although I really love cheap watercolors. I don't like the watercolor, cheap watercolor brushes. One, because the the uh, bristles fall off, and the other because you, can, you really can't do fine um, quality painting with it. So I, I really dig having a small one and kind of a, a medium sized one. I just picked up these, these are new to me, the Sakura. This is a, a kind of a, a high quality watercolor. It's a very dense watercolor paint. Let me take one out so I can show you. You need very, very little to create a ton of watercolor. I've really enjoyed playing around with these. You can, you can layer them a lot better. You can um, paint with them as if they were something like oil. And at the end, they, yeah, they have a really cool quality. You can, do, you can do a lot more with them. And you can also make them super runny in the way that I like using the cheapo watercolor. Also in this bag, I generally carry around some cut pieces of watercolor paper. Really high quality, very dense watercolor paper and you can get them in big sheets and then you can do whatever you want with them and I, I really like having almost postcard size paper that I can whip out at any time like in any place like I could do this on the plane uh, I could do this while on a bus like I could do it anywhere anywhere I wanted and this is about the size that I like to have last thing in my bag is a set of these 
high quality pens. Most of my artwork right now is pen and watercolor. So I really like high quality pen and I'll draw something and then I'll most often use this like really cheapo watercolor just to kind of color it in. And I like not knowing what's gonna happen with the cheapo watercolor because it just does its own thing a lot of the time. But I have been playing around, like I said, with that new high quality watercolor paint and I'm really digging that. So this is my layout. This is everything that I pack in that small packing cube. <music>